Hello, this is going to be about the Braille screen input <clears throat> on your Apple device. And I'm showing it to you on a 6 Plus. Um, <clears throat> so what you have to do first is you have to go into the voiceover settings and select the Braille screen input in, in the rotor. You're going to have to accept it in the rotor. So here's what we do. We're going to go to our settings first. And now we're going to go over to general. Accessibility. We're going to go into voiceover. We're going to go all the way over to rotor. And then the things that say selected are already on your rotor. The things that do not say, you know, if it doesn't have selected in front of it, that means it's not in your rotor. And we're looking for braille screen input. There it is. And it did not say selected, but as soon as I double tap, it will. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit the, um, um, I'm going to go to my notes now, now that I've got the, I've got it selected. Okay, so now that I'm in notes, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, and it's editing, so I'm going to turn my phone sideways, like in a landscape, and then make sure the home button is on your left-hand side. Make sure the top of the phone is to the right, obviously. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to, now that I've got it turned, I'm going to turn my rotor with my two fingers, just like turning a knob on your screen. I'm going to turn it to the left until I find... Braille screen input. There it is. There it is. Now I'm going to take my six fingers, three on each hand, the two indexes, the middle fingers, and the ring fingers. I'm going to, my index fingers are kind of touching and they're hovering about a quarter of an inch above the screen. And now for whatever I want to type, so if I want to type, let's go to town. So I could do, I tap, take all three fingers and do an L on the left hand, L. and then E, C. Oh. C. 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 great, so prove me wrong, C. L. L. E. there it is, T, T. apostrophe, apostrophe. Left. S. S. Space. S, G, O, T, O, T, O, Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm, because I you notice earlier it said a C instead of an E, so what I did to get rid of that I just did a swipe to my left with my left thumb, and it it took away a character. And now when I have all of my letters in for the word that I'm typing and I want to put a space, I use my right thumb and I swipe it to the right. And then once you're done and you want to see what you've typed, you just turn your rotor back to lines, words, or characters or something of that nature. There it is. So now I turn my my phone back the portrait mode and touch the screen. Let's go to town. Body. System phone regular. Touch there it is. Phone. And that's a whole lot faster than trying to go and hold down your finger and go find your letter and then let it up or double tap on each one. And you don't have to worry about the accuracy of your dictation. So I find it nice to be able to do that. Um, so that's a pretty good in-depth of how to use your Braille screen. Um your braille screen input. Um, I guess you could use a regular braille display, but they're expensive. Um, and who wants to go through the you know process of getting them, make sure they're charged, hooking them all up, and all that good stuff? Because this stuff is right here. You can just lay it on your lap or whatnot. I, le I left mine just flat on the table. You can use it in an upward angle position, but I have not messed with that. It's probably a little trickier. And I think that's all. If you guys got any questions, um, Leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them.